Welcome back everybody to today's video. We're doing our 42 day ECM WF forecast. Um, so let's get into this. So if you guys did not know, high pressure is the yellow, orange and red. And the low pressure is the blues and purples. It's only blue on here. If it's high pressure, it doesn't mean it's going to be warm. If it's low pressure, it doesn't mean it's going to be cold. It just depends where the winds come from. So if the wind comes from the south, it'll be milder. Come from the west, it'll be milder. Come from the east in the winter, it'll be cold. Come from the north, it'll be colder. So, let's get into this. So we have high pressure blocking to our north over Greenland and Scandinavia, and that'll be bringing them easterly winds in at the moment. So we are turning colder. And through the next few weeks, as we'll be looking at, in this i'm sure what you'll see as it go colder same with the northern hemisphere we all got high pressure blocking bringing up easterly winds in temperatures are now in scot ireland and scotland they're still just above average but in wales and england they are going below average though so i'll cut it through the country where it is changing there you can see Precipitation, no surprise, we are drier than average because that high pressure is sitting over us. So yeah, no surprise there. I think I did say but the high pressure means it will be more settled and not wet. And the low pressure means it will be more wet, windy and unsettled. So yeah, but it doesn't mean it's going to be warm if it's high pressure or cold if it's low pressure. So then we um, build high pressure over Scandinavia and we bring a build big block in over Greenland. We're bringing the wind in from the northeasterly there, I suspect. So we will be going even colder there. The northern hemisphere looks like this. Yeah, that shows us better. We've got a big Greenland high going up, haven't we? And then we bring the northeasterly wind in. So we will be going um colder won't we um week two for the temperatures yes you, you can get from the northeast in um, greenland going warmer than average as we expect here to a south warmer than average but we are going quite below average temperatures now we are going quite colder than average first time we've seen that for a long time isn't it we are drier and wetter than average we are very close so we're around average there just because of that low pressure in the atlantic um there is low pressure over or by scandinavia so if that pushes the high pressure more towards the greenland we'll start bringing in a colder north now we take high pressure up to greenland oh i said that low pressure has pushed it out of the way hasn't it and bring them northeasterly in now so that looks even colder so that'll be a long northeasterly it looks very cold that doesn't it so we are looking a lot more interesting um, than we have seen lately. We're definitely looking very cold. And this is a very long fetch. Look at that big blocking over the North Pole. A very long fetch normally, isn't it? It's coming all the way from over the North Pole and the Arctic. So that will be very cold. And we'll, I'll be expecting snow of that because the low pressure is pushing in at the same time. We are still going even colder now we keep going even colder than average now we keep going colder and it does not look like there's a quick way out of this at the moment we are around average temperatures again because of that low pressure um average rainfall i mean <laughs> average precipitation because it might be so then this is this looks interesting so is this trying to get low pressure there and bring us back into the milder winds or is that high pressure over there still bringing it in from the north? Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe the not over the North Pole tells we have still got high pressure blocking up there. I suspect us to still bring warm and average. I won't talk to you. So I'm be quite chilly, and we could have snow on the ground. So around average precipitation or no signal. We, the signal will start weakening now. We are going towards the end. Now we're going towards January. For the new year, we are blocking above us and we're bringing it in from, looks like cold easterly there, doesn't it? And if there's low pressure below us, we could be bringing um, snow up from the south with high pressure over here, low pressure to our south. That could be a very cold pattern with them easterly winds coming in. So then the continent and Europe will start getting colder um, through December. Yeah, oh my goodness, look at all that blocking. So we have been seeing the blocking trying to break away lately, but this, the ECMWF, 
is not taking the blocking away, is it? The temperatures, I expect, will go colder. Mm, no signal, is it? We are warmer than average to our north, no surprise. I think we'll be colder than average through there. It, well, because there's not much signal, is there, at this point? Um, yeah, there's no signal at all, is there? <laughs> With the precipitation. Now for the final week, we are nearly at the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We are looking like this. This is looking very interesting, isn't it? I mean, still a lot of blocking to our north. Um, we'll be bringing more of a south easterly up there, so it won't be as cold, but it will be quite cold on the continent. But I think through the middle of the country, we'll still be trying to bring them northerlies in. So that'll be a right battle, and we could have a snow event, couldn't we? So. Have you seen anything what doesn't look cold? I have not. It's looking very interesting. The, there's so much blocking as it says the same. So we could be bringing the south easterly up, but we also could be bringing the northerly down. So it's so it's so interesting at the moment, uh, what we're seeing. So are we getting a cold and average winter this year? I predict we're getting a cold winter. We'll, we will see. Um, we do like that. We be going colder, but there's no signal, is there, sir? I think there's no signal at all. Precipitation. Oh my goodness, there's no signal at all. Oh my word. That's shocking. <laughs> right, so I'll take us back to the week what mo looks most interesting to me, and that's definitely the 12th to the 12th, um, the, tw the third week was 12th to the 19th of December. That was like a proper beast from the east, but I think we're going in for a lot colder weather, and it will be very interesting. So if you've watched this video, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, we're nearly at 20 subscribers now. We're at 18. And see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.